awesome. Before we start, hang on, I gotta turn this all the way down. No! Alright. Yeah, okay, because Taylor Swift is poison. Why? No. I love Toilet Toiler. I, I love Taylor I also Swift. love Toiler Swift, but like her content ID for everything is like super harsh. Oh. Right. Her, her, her I keep, I keep, see, I keep seeing the, <laughs> I keep seeing the that post where like uh, this this girl on Tumblr is just like, um, we lost all the audio to our wedding vows because we played uh, Love Story, oh. during, and so like they lost their vows, they lost their first dance, they lost all the sound from their wedding, just because Taylor Swift's content ID. So I feel like that's that's so awful. Oh. Hey everyone. Hey everyone, it's uh, Darwin and Jay Adrian! Uh, I, I don't yell quite as loudly as Jay. And we are just leaving school. Yep. Um, I wanted, like, I, I was talking to Jay Adrian the other day about, like, making these vlogs and stuff, and I don't know if I gave you actually, like, a definitive answer on, like, why I don't vlog every other day. Because, like, I started these vlogs as, like, you know, just, like, Little. for, well, like, for funsies, I guess, but also, like, it was just my way of, um, I had a really good answer like five hours ago and I was like, yeah, I'll put that in the vlog. And then now that I'm doing the vlog, I forgot what I was going to say. Um, it's, it's, it's just so, it's, uh, the talk, I guess. What's the talk? I, I was trying to segue <laughs> into... the bugs, the I, I, I had a, I promise I had a really good segue from doing the vlogs to being around friends. But I forgot it, so just pretend it's there. So, uh... That's, yeah, that's why I need to vlog. Wow. <laughs> that's the best reason. Huh? Yeah, so I forgot the reason, but that's the reason. But that's, thanks for watching. <laughs> um, but, but, uh, no, I actually, I, I, today I wanted to talk about, um, oh, hold on. I, you know, God, I had it for a second, but it's gone again, <laughs> so you know it. Let's, Sorry! Let's just, let's just forget it. Let's just forget it. I wanted to talk about, uh, like, uh, friends. Oh god, the video, the screen is like 100% dark. <laughs> you know, like, you were, go you were like, talking about how, like, the, the light goes out. No, this is like, uh, this is like, um, Fucking advanced stars. Can no, we can't drive with this on. Why not? No, we can't. Okay. Uh, like, I don't know why, but I know, I know this we This is just a podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, why not? I want, I've always wanted to do a podcast. This is a podcast, because you can't see anything. I'd do a podcast if I found, like, a proper, like, uh, Hosting site, you know. I like. I don't know who would listen. Like, I don't know. Like, if it would be worth it. But that's why you build up the. I guess you build up the thing, the cred, so that people will listen to you when you do a podcast. Yeah. Podcast. God, it's traffic. But anyway, I, I wanted to. Uh, I wanted to talk about friends, and what they're here for, and how you should treat them, and whatnot. Great. Like, I don't know. Like, like there, there's like this stigma about like. Uh, asking your friends for help and shit. And I don't know, I don't know how that got so far out of hand, but, um, I feel like that's, I feel like that's like a common, uh, like it, it's, it's such a, it's such a, what's the word for it? Like, like people think that that's true, but it's not. What, what? Like, like it's wrong to ask your friends for help because you're a burden to them. That's not true. That's, that's, not, that's true. not true. I mean, like, well, I mean, it could get out of hand to where I mean, it like, is. Uh, like, like if you keep asking friends well, for money. It, it, well, yeah, that, you know, like, like, hey, like, you know. Yeah, I, um, like well, asking your friends for rides every other day, right, JJ? Uh, no, but, you know. <laughs> I mean, eventually I'm gonna be like, hey, Darwin, um, you can say some gas money? You can say no, and yeah, once once I start getting money, I promise I'll start, like, I'll start giving you gas it's, money and you know, stuff. It's like gas that. money. Yeah, it's... I get it. But, like, um, but, but, I mean, just, like, generally, like, yeah. asking your friends for help like emotionally and that type of stuff like oh, well, I feel like you know I think for emotionally it just depends on who you're asking because there might be those people that are really good with emotional type problems sure. but like because of the way they act if you ask them they'll be like god get out of my face yeah like yeah, get, sure. get your own friends well, also, well, well then, to then, then, then when it's like me if you ask me you know I like being there for people I like when people come to me to ask for problems mm -hmm. so like as soon as someone says Hey, Jadrian, I have a problem. Like, so, what's the problem? And I'll be like right there, oh, like thought, the whole I thought, time. I, I heard this out and I thought that meant you're gonna hit him. I was like, whoa, hold on. <laughs> no, I'm Again, kidding. too. You foolish. <laughs> I hate problems. No. <laughs> but you know, and it's half the time, it's problems I've never had to experience myself. Yeah. But I like to attempt to help 
even though I can't just, you know, try to be there for some uh, reassurance in life that they don't have to go through this alone. They ha do have friends that'll listen and whatnot. And, yeah. mm -hmm. um, not everyone knows everything. Well, and I, I totally understand. Like, I have, like, like I, like, I have friends who, uh, like, I talk to, and a lot of the times they tell me, like, I'm really sorry I can't, like, help you because I don't know the situation. And that's, that's perfectly fine. It's just the, the fact that you're listening and the fact that you're not yelling at me for talking to you and that type of stuff. Like, there, there's this there's this thing where like where like people go like you shouldn't burden your friends you should just deal with your problems alone. That's completely false. Like there's a reason why we have our friends. It's because you know sometimes you just need support and stuff. And I mean like that's not the only reason why you have friends. Of course you have friends because you like being around these people. You enjoy their company. But you know understand that I would say like ninety percent ninety ninety five percent of the time if you said can I like I need some help or I need someone to talk to. A friend will, a friend will probably be there for you, unless they're like, I'm dying right now, Jadrian. I'm sorry, I can't talk to you right now. <laughs> I cut my leg off on accident because <laughs> I was trying to cut off my other leg. But it's it's like it's it's stuff like that where like like don't don't feel bad about asking your friends for help. Like feel bad if they're not, you know, if they're avoiding trying to help you, because then that means they're not a true friend. In my if, if if they're if they're actively if they're actively like uh, avoiding any like 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 Jaden and I hang out, hang out every day he takes me home he's kind of to do that if he comes up to me and he asks me for help and I goes oh, I'm like busy I got I got a migraine coming up I have a migraine scheduled next week I'm really like no, it's me that's fucked I'd up you know I'd be irritated and I yeah would exactly so I'd probably, so probably go to jail because I'd hit down <laughs> with my car so a truck. You know. <laughs> Uh, breaking truck, breaking way. news a, a red truck has just flown into a, <laughs> a house in California but like yeah yeah like you know that's the other side of the coin right like you know as much as as much as you want your friends to be there for you be you there have to be there for them be there well. for them as well and and it's it's mutual and I promise I promise that as long as you're not gonna make that I yeah, promise I know that uh, stop don't try to make the right there's a car in front of you um what oh <laughs> shit, shit um I promise, as long as like you know, you, you keep things mutual, and as long as you're there for your friends, they'll be there for you. And and you know, some people have trust issues. I understand that. Some people have problems with like trying to cope with the fact that like letting their secrets out. And I know I had that problem not recently though, because I I found that the more people I talk to about my stuff, like the easier it was for me to like say it over and over again, and it made me feel less about the situation. Like I told you about some things and I, I tell that story a lot and by the time I tell like the next person I, I, I promise I'll feel a lot less of that and I guess that helps me cope but that's that's a personal thing right some people <laughs> story <laughs> it's my problem not yours get over it <laughs> <laughs> oh um but you're probably going to see that a lot <laughs> yeah uh but you know like like your your friends are there for you as much as you want to be there for them. I'll say that. That I feel, I feel like that's fair. Unless you don't want to be with I don't unless you don't want to be there for your friends, you then know, you're a every terrible person. Relationships <laughs> are give and take, right? All forms of relationships, right? Not just not just the lovey-dovey ones, not just blood relations, even friendships. Any little relationship you could ever form, romance. Yeah. It's give and take, you know, like you you as much as you give, as much as you take, like, it's mutual, right? That's, that's the thing, right? Um, so, like, if you have a problem, just, and, and, and if you feel like, if you feel like talking to people about it, do that. Don't be afraid of, like, what others will think, especially your friends, because your friends are probably the, the last people to, like, judge you, like, harshly, right? Yeah. Unless it's something like, hey, Jadrian, I really want to kill this guy. Uh, I'd probably be like, dude, let's do it. Hey, okay, no, <laughs> don't ask Jadrian for, like, advice on not to murder people, because he'll do it. But, uh, <laughs> but anyone else other than Jadrian, <laughs> you know? Um, I mean, if you're a female friend, I'd be like, uh, I don't... I'd ask for the reason first, and if it's because they wore the same shoes as you, I'm probably going to kick you through a wall. Oh, come on. But, uh... But if, you know, they were wearing the same shoes as you and then stepped on your shoes, oh, I got you, man. Jadrian, 
They stepped on my Jordans. Aye, but were they wearing Jordans? They were, were they wearing, wearing, the they were wearing some bummy ass Adidas. Bro, I. Who was it? <laughs> <laughs> who was it? We gotta go there right now. <laughs> Alright. Um, you know, just like, like be up front and, and like, I feel like, um, gate, you could gauge it properly, like, you know. Like, start off with like the people that know you the best. Or the ones that you feel most comfortable talking to. I promise, I promise you, they'll, they'll start off talking you down, right? Not talking down at you, because that's different. But talking you down from like whatever it is, you know. They won't, they won't be like, "Wow, you're a freak, get out." Right. If they do, they're joking, and you, you know, you know that. But and if they aren't joking, you should they're probably, probably get not friends. your best. They're probably not your friends. They're probably not your best friends at all. You know, just be upfront. Be, be honest, you know, like, and I get that's hard for some people and it'll take some time, but you know, you gotta start somewhere, you know, um, but I guess the other thing I wanna talk about is, uh, oh, I wrote something down and I don't know if it makes sense, but it's, uh, I wrote, it's okay not to be. It's okay not to be. Mm-hmm. Did you write that on Facebook? No. I felt like I read that before. Oh, well, I don't know, but it just means it's okay not to be okay. Oh, yeah. Like, that's that's perfectly fine and it's perfectly fine to let people you're not okay you know and I and I don't know I don't know how I don't know what else to add to that I don't have anything to add to that right now but it was just it was just a thought that was going through. yeah cuz like um when I talk to my friends and I feel that they're uh, like not my um you know my my other group of friends that I hang out with they uh when I feel like they're acting different you know they seem kind of out of it I'll ask them if they're okay and by the, uh, the way they answer whether they're okay or not is how I can tell that they're not okay. Yeah. Because they'll never say no. Like, mm-hmm. my friends, they're all these, like, kind people and happy people and they don't like people having to worry about them. It Which ab- is kind of, like... It absolutely breaks my heart every single time, like, I ask. Like, I know, I know someone who, who always, like, every time I ask them, they always say, I'm fine or I'm okay. And I know they're not. It's fairly obvious or not I just want them to admit it yeah yeah but with my friends when I see that they're not okay and they said okay I'd be like no you're not okay I can see and they'll be like (sighs) and they take like a deep breath and then they'll tell me their whole problem and thing because I think it's gotten to the point to where they know that I know to how I can tell or that I can tell that they're not okay and whatnot so you know they won't try to hide it unless they're really that not okay and they don't know that uh, they don't feel like they can tell anyone about it yet so again again, like you know like friendship there's there's a certain amount of trust going on there you know trust that your friends won't have all the answers but they will have things to say and it could help you it could not help you but if anything at least you have someone listening to you you know if any if anything you know because as, as much as, as good as it is to, like, internalize and write stuff down in a journal, I know some people cope like that. I know I did for a little while. Um, sometimes it's just nice to, like, li- like talk to a- another human being about it. And, like, even if all they have to say is, I understand or I see, that's, like, you know, that's fine. Don't blame don't blame the other person if that's all they have to say. Unless they say okay, then you could kick them. <laughs> Why? Dude, replying was okay. Like, oh, okay. Oh, I thought, I thought, I thought you. Cause I, I meant like in person. Even in person, if, <laughs> this, if you're telling them stone like, face. Okay. okay. <laughs> I feel like. Are you serious? I'm going through this crisis, and all you could say is okay. Yeah. I like. I would. Right, 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 I'm not right, a violent right. person, but you know. I'm I violent. I'd run them over with the truck. Yeah. <laughs> Probably throw my truck at them. <laughs> Just throw the truck. I'll throw the truck and then Skip the jump. Man. I'll jump inside the car while it's flying through the air <laughs> the to turn the car on. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you know, yeah, get it. It's it's fine. You know. Gas oh yeah. Got to get that gas. Basically. Woo! But in summary, friends are important. Friends are there for you. Have friends. Have friends. Have a lot of friends. And you know, I, I, I get I get some people have like a hard time have, uh, making, making friends. friends. And you know what? That's okay too. But I'm I'm sure. Um, how do I phrase this? Because I know some people actually do have like hard time making, uh, making new friends, and uh, I was like that for like a few. Everything, weeks. every type of relation could start with a hand wave. Um, what honestly, is it? if you uh, have the guts to wave towards one person and they wave back, and you do that often and often and repeat it, you know maybe it'll help you work up the courage to say hi to them, or yes. maybe they'll be like, hey, this is 
I've noticed I've been waving to this person, but I don't know who they are. And they'll uh, they'll come over to you and they'll say something. Like, I get it's scary to talk to people at first, but one thing that I kind of internalize, it might take some time for other people too, but it's like, they're just people like you and me. And you say hi to them and they're not quite so intimidating as you might think they are. Uh, what is it? Julius, Julius indirectly told me, he didn't tell me personally, but I heard from another person that he gave the same advice to someone like, just walk up to someone and ask if they're busy and if they're not, you know, strike up a conversation because they're just a human being. They're not like some horrible monster that will like eat you if you say the wrong thing because, you know, whatever. Unless, unless, the, unless what you're about to say is something so awful like, hey, Donald Trump should be president or, <laughs> or you know, like women suck, you know, like that type of stuff. Yeah, you're probably saying the wrong things there. <laughs> that's, that's just my take on it. But, uh, yeah, that's, I guess, that's my thoughts on it. That's my take on it. Uh -huh. Are you trying to make a U-turn on a red light? Because <laughs> the, the light over there turned green. No. So I was like, okay. Oh, it's, it's turned green. All right.